Happy Crock-Pot Monday, y'all. Today, Jenna and I are gonna be making two of our favorite recipes. The first recipe that Nicole's gonna be doing is a recipe that I just threw together one day at home and we ended up really enjoying it. Even my two-year-old ate it like crazy. Um, it's beef tips and rice. And then I'm gonna be doing an apple crisp for dessert that we served with homemade ice cream. Nicole's gonna be doing the beef tips and rice. Okay, you're gonna take one can of golden mushroom soup And from the golden mushroom soup, the can, add half a cup of water. Then you're gonna take white cooking wine, about half a can. You're gonna add one package of onion soup mix, and then one garlic uh, minced. Just one clove. You're going to mix that up really well, kind of get the lumps out of your soup. Smells yummy already. And then you're going to take one medium onion. We've just uh, cut it into rings. And then we are going to add three beef sirloin tip steaks. Now you can adjust, um, this is gonna feed about a family of four. And you'll wanna sink them down into the, into the soup mixture. Make sure they're fully covered down in the soup mixture. But you adjust this however you would like. You want to add um, some more soup, go ahead, a little more water. And if you adjust the liquids and put quite a bit more in there with some more steaks, you might add another package of the soup mix also. And just make sure it's really good down in there, covered, so it gets the tenderness of the meat. And I would cook on um, low for about eight hours, and that's going to get your meat really um, tender to where it just pulls apart. And we've served it um, on a on some rice and with a salad and tomatoes. Pretty good meal. Now for the apple crisp, this is a little different than your just dump in slow cooker recipe. First, you're going to have a medium sized mixing bowl. I'm gonna put one cup of all purpose flour, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then about an eighth a teaspoon, fourth a teaspoon of uh, ground nutmeg, and then a pinch of salt. Now you need to get this mixed up first. Get it mixed through. Once that is mixed through, you're going to add half a cup of butter, um, cut into squares, and it's just one stick of butter. Now when I started this, when I made it the first time, I started it with the fork. And if you would rather just get in there and work it with your hands and make it into a crumble, that works also, and that's what I'm going to do. And this is going to be the topping. This is going to be the crisp that goes on the top. It's going to make the, the topping of the <laughs> dessert. Takes just a minute to get it all worked in. And once you get that mixed together, then you can add half a cup of chopped walnuts. Not half a cup, I'm sorry. One cup of chopped walnuts. And you get that all mixed together, and once it's mixed together, you're going to set it aside and you'll come back to it later. Now, in your other mixing bowl, you're going to do a third a cup of sugar. You're going to do a tablespoon of cornstarch. Then you're going to do half a teaspoon of ground ginger. 
and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And you're going to get that all mixed together. Now, beforehand, I have chopped three large golden delicious apples. The recipe calls for six cups of chopped apples. So it might take three to four. Um, I did not peel mine. I love to peel on, but feel free to peel them. You just need to core them and chop them. And you're going to put those down in the bottom of the slow cooker. And to make your life a little bit easier, you get you one of those apple slicers that they're sliced in no time. Then you're going to take the smaller bowl, the cornstarch, cinnamon, and ginger, and you're going to pour that over your apples. And you're just going to toss that around together and get it mixed up. It smells heavenly. It's just going to coat the apples with a sugary mix. And then you're going to take two tablespoons of lemon juice and you're going to pour that over the top. And you're going to get that mixed in real well. They're not going to be in any liquid. It's just coating them with the sugar and the flour. Or the sugar and the cinnamon and the cornstarch. You get those all coated. Then you're going to take your first mixture with the chopped walnuts in it and you're going to just pour that over the top and it's just going to be a dry mixture and the juice from the apples will cook up and mix with I'm, it. I'm observing that while Jenna does this. It is very dry so um, don't let that concern you. It's not going to burn. What you're going to do after that is you're just going to cover it you're going to cook it on high for two hours or low for four hours. Now, when I opened mine up, I was a little worried because there was a lot of juice on top. The instructions say, after your cooking time is up, the two hours on high or four on low, you uncover for an hour and let it sit and it will turn to a crisp. And we served it with some vanilla ice cream. And I am going to take a bite because it looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. I think I'm going to have to try mm. it too. Yeah, it's definitely good for the holidays coming up. Definitely cheaper. It is so good. Happy yeah. crocking, y'all. Y'all have a good week.